Osman Benafan has distinguished his name in the field of material science, and I'm very pleased to name him as a distinguished alumnus of this college. Although his degrees are in mechanical engineering, he has used his education to further the field of material science and has built a solid reputation as both a researcher and an engineer. He has received many awards and accolades, and I'm proud to add the title of Distinguished Alumnus to his collection. Well, it is an honor for me to receive this award from UCF. I spent many years at UCF for my bachelor, all the way through my PhD. I have met many professors. I have met many friends that I still have a relationship with. Uh, many professors I'll still have contact with. So it's really an honor to be uh, awarded uh, such an award with UCF. I look forward to continue serving in some capacity and be part of the Knights team. Well, for me, it wasn't a hard or conflicted choice. When looking at grad schools, uh, for me, it was about quality of research. It was about the value of the professors or the faculty. And it was about the resources uh, or the support given to the student body. Uh, UCF met all those criteria and more. But to me, it was also about continuing to learn about these materials, these shape memory alloys, and working with one of the professors, the top professors in the world that have come from shape memory alloy schools and continues to work with it, uh, made my decision very easy to stay in grad schools all the way through at UCF. In my very first materials course, which was called EGN3365 at that time, uh, my professor and now my very good friend, Professor Raj Vaidanathan, uh, gave a lecture on phase transformations. And as part of that, he describes these metals with memory, or better known as shape memory alloys now today. Uh, so that topic at first, it seemed like a material of the future, something you will hear on TV, on Hollywood. But after learning a little bit more, it was fascinating to me how materials can do such a thing. And, but that happens only if you know the science behind them. So I ended up joining Professor Vaidenathan's research group, and I have been working on shape memory alloys ever since here at NASA. I would say my favorite memory has to be my senior design project with Dr. Gao and Dr. Joe Shou. Uh, it was a fun, it was challenging, and it was a moon buggy project. Uh, that project fulfilled to teach me a lot. It, it served to fulfill my bachelor's degree, but also built some lifelong friendship with my teammates that some of them I'm still with contact. So from my perspective, my example, it was initially intimidating to seek advice from well-established professors, but it's well worth it when you find the right person, the right professor. I had the mindset when I was going through school that no one will hand me my career. I had to go get it. That meant uh, asking questions, stopping by professors' offices and asking those questions. Uh, some conversations didn't lead to anywhere, but that one conversation I had, for example, with the professor, it opened an opportunity for me that became a career, which I love. So uh, I would say my advice, don't be scared, get asked those tough questions, and don't be too late on planning your career where you want to be in your junior or even senior year. Apply for, mentor, for uh, things like internships or uh, pathways in the field of experience that you hope to be. And most importantly, follow your passions and, and continue uh, excelling. Other than the location in the beautiful central Florida, I would say the curriculum and those responsible for implementing such curriculum. I went, in my case, when I graduated, I felt that all the necessary tools were with me and allowed me to jump straight to the workforce. And that, in my opinion, uh, doesn't happen by mistake. It was planned, it was uh, uh, wonderfully, executed as well.